Okay, Luke, let's not beat around the bush. This is pretty much the star of the show, isn't it? It is, really? yeah. Let's get serious now. I mean, wowzer. I don't, I don't think anybody saw this coming. It's quite a big deal. I mean, so they're called PS3300. There are very few actually made. Only apparently less than 50. I do know someone who's got one. Do you? So I'll probably be able to get a demo on it before I get my hands on one of these in the country. Yeah. But so, uh, do you know anything about why and did the process, or is it just did it just show up one day? No, it w it's been something in development obviously for a while because it, you don't just do this sort of thing overnight. So, but um, it's one of those things where over the years, it's like top of the list of people asking for. Oh, you've got to reissue that, especially after we've done like the MS20 and the Up Odyssey and the 2600. But no one actually believed we would do it. And we I mean, this is bonkers. Just for a quick recap, this is actually the original was 48 voices. You've yeah. added what? You've gone yeah, one we've more. Yeah, gone one more. Gone up to 11. 49. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm a bit disappointed you didn't go 50 just for that. Yeah, it's bit, easier to calculate how much it is in total as well because it's that's only one module and then you times that by three as well. Yeah, so, so it's kind of a fully polyphonic analog synthesizer crazy kind of I mean it's very similar in styling to the uh, the MS-20 isn't it, it is. the same yeah. sort of, was yeah. it the same era I suppose it was the same era the MS-20 was 78 actually this came out in 77 right. so it was all that same um, era same designer Fumio Mieda who's quite a legendary figure within Corgan actually is still there so he was able to collaborate on this as well which is a which is big news and that obviously helped some of the younger engineers and pass on some of that knowledge which is actually really nice for us yeah, so, and I imagine, but I imagine, yeah. I mean, some of the things inside here, you're probably not allowed to, to use anymore, cadmium and That's barium. Right. And and the, the ca cadmium was used for this, the resonators, apparently, and that's quite a big part of the sound of this 3300, um, which is kind of like a bandpass, sculptable bandpass filter, yeah. um, which is modul modulatable as well. So, yeah, so we had to find a new material instead of the cadmium to do that. So and, and also, it's not as deep, you might notice, as the original, if you know the original. So, and that's because of, we've just managed to less, down... Less yeah. electronics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We just managed to downsize the electronics. And less heat. Okay, well, I mean, we'll stop talking. Play some. I mean, uh, let's just be honest about this also. None of us have really ever had our hands on this. No, so exactly. To be able to go, oh, I know exactly how this works. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. It's very, off, but quite experimental. But, but this has got more memories in it, hasn't uh, it? It has got presets, which is really nice. And, and we've programmed a few in here just for the show. Um, so... Can start, start sculpting the sounds. So three oscillators per voice. Yeah. Times forty nine. Yeah. That just seems. It's I mean, enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it should be. <laughs> let's uh, let's flip a few more. Let's just. Yeah. Let's just go through some of these. So. So I mean, because each of the each of the voices is essentially an entire an entire voice. Each, so each oscillator is almost it's, it's slightly different structure than than a regular way. It's like three fully polyphonic synthesizers, each with a full voice, isn't it? Yeah, essentially, it's kind of mad, really. Yeah, and another kind of unique thing. Well, I don't know if it's unique, but a big feature of this is the temperament adjust for each different note. So it's brilliant for micro tuning and experimental stuff as well. And you have that on each of the modules, so you can imagine you can. It can be dangerous, but oh uh, yeah, you know. God, I can imagine. So I mean, presumably <laughs> there with presets in it, all of these must be digitally controlled or digitally. Yeah, they are. Um, that's what one cool about, thing about, about this as well is because we've added MIDI and USB. It's going to be a librarian piece of software as well, so you can back up your sounds, which will take a snapshot of you know everything here and then Amazing. and including the temperaments as well. So oh, that's really handy. Come yeah. on, let's have a couple more sounds then. You have no idea, so there we go. Ah, so you could. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. 
then this is basically a mix of the three parts for these three modules. So you can very quickly isolate one of them just by knocking those so off. What's so what's the, do you know anything about the filters? I mean, I'm, I, I confess I don't, are they MS20 type filters? They're, or are they? they're MS20 type, but they're, they're not as aggressive as the MS20. I mean, Definitely that would be, ha imagine 48 <laughs> voices <laughs> imagine that, MS20 yeah. resonance. Which would, is obviously the reason they did that, because otherwise it would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? It so, would, yeah. yeah. Let's have another couple of <coughs> presets. So it come, comes with the keyboard, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, everything comes with it, yeah. without effects as well because we're so used to that's it. the thing I mean, it's still nice obviously, it's still nice but obviously then when you do put it through so even just cause some reverb it's just going to be yeah okay well we've still got a few more to go let's this is what people oh, i think that's is that the cool equivalent of the <laughs> i'm not going to play that <laughs> <laughs> One of the big features of this was the, the long envelope on the release could be like really, really long, so it's great for like ambient soundscapes and so you just hit go and, and then fiddle with all the voices. Yeah, exactly. Let's try, I, if I may, <laughs> just so I can touch it. Of course, yeah. There, yeah, what's this one? Oh, much the same as the last one. a bit with the resonance just to hear yeah. so you can start yeah, to hear the filter that, that it's really different from the MS20 isn't it? but it's got that kind of slightly valley quack it without it going too without it going too wild yeah nice preset number 13 what will happen <laughs> what could go wrong that sounds nice actually just, just, too just loud. a bit hot let's try that again There's some drive in there somewhere, actually. Interesting. What's going on there? Nothing to do with that modulation, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that almost goes into audio range. Yeah, there, but yeah. yeah. Again, I, I, I make no apologise for floundering about because I don't have no idea how this works at all. <laughs> I've never used it, but hopefully... So, this, I mean, it's a high-ticket item, built to order, right? Built to order. We're not quite sure when. Towards the end of the year, it's going to start production in earnest. And, yeah, price, we're not sure of yet. I, I, I saw $13,000. Yeah, it's going to be, I think, anywhere between £10,000 and £15,000. Thirteen thousand dollars. I did yeah. see one it's of unknown. these. I did see one of these listed on uh, Reverb for seventy-one grand. Yeah. I don't know if it's sold, but I mean that, that gives puts you it into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah. It does a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, do we know? Is it going to be limited edition, or is there going to be just as, as long as people want? And do you know? Anything yeah, about? I think they're just going to see how it goes. I think. I don't think there's a. They put a set number on it. And just um, see what the demand's like and how quickly they can build them. Because obviously, something like this. You don't just build it in sort of five minutes. It's imagine quite the a, calibration and yeah, testing is a big part of it. Yeah, stuff, yeah. So yeah. it's very exciting. Fantastic, yeah. Luke. Thank you so much. Okay, no problem.